This video is sponsored by Hexclad. Hexclad is a high-end cookware brand that seeks to bring together the best features of cast iron, stainless steel, and ceramic tech. They call it hybrid because it utilizes traditional materials along with a patented surface made up of non-stick valleys and hexagonal peaks. They boast fast heating, even distribution, and a non-stick cooking experience. We tested the hybrid cookware set along with a few extra individual pots and pans. We've used this set in our kitchen exclusively for the better part of a year. First of all, the non-stick capability of these pots and pans is extremely good. Notably, it does still require oil or butter to season the pan for best results, but it does last. After months of daily use, I have perceived no dip in the non-stick quality of even our most used pan. Second, you can use metal utensils and rough abrasive cleaning tools on this cookware. It cannot be overstated how nice it feels to not worry every time you need to grab a spatula or want to do a deeper clean. Additionally, all of this cookware heats up quickly and has fantastic even heat distribution. Next, the cookware is all oven safe and easy to transition from stovetop with heat resistant handles. Last, washing and maintenance is incredibly easy. Cooked foods like egg just brush away and the heavier burned on fats only require a bit more effort. We tested the cookware on both induction and electric stovetops. Unfortunately, we did not test Hexclad on a gas stove. Most notably, the price is undoubtedly on the high end. Even so, it is on par with other high-end sets on the market. In addition, there is a learning curve to how quickly these pans heat up. It was a bit of a challenge to get used to as you need far less heat on the burner as the pans get hotter and stay hotter compared to more traditional cookware. Let's take a closer look at a hex class patented design. These pans have a base and surface of stainless steel for durability, with the base magnetized for use on induction stovetops. Its core is made up of aluminum for faster heat conductivity. The hexagonal pattern is formed by steel dots that are intended to aid heat distribution and protect the nonstick surface below. That surface also uses a coating infused with diamond dust for increased toughness. Moreover, the products are dishwasher safe and easy to clean, so you won't have to worry about the aftermath of cooking. We found the cookware to be relatively lightweight. The handles are ergonomic and heat resistant. Throughout our prolonged cooking tests, I had no complaints regarding its weight or feel. In the course of months of testing the Hexclad, my team and I cooked steaks, quesadillas, pancakes, eggs, pasta, stir fry, and much, much more. Here are some of the standout meals and takeaways from the experience. I really enjoyed cooking chicken parmesan. We actually used a griddle during this shoot as the 12 inch pan was used for simmering a homemade marinara. Both of these turned out amazing. However, this was one of the meals that reinforced the importance of cooking on a lower heat. Since switching to these pans, I've started turning down my heat a notch or two with every meal. The chicken parmesan was a little on the browner side, but in the end, it still came out delicious and juicy. My family and I love potatoes. These pans are incredible at cooking them, and I think it's one of the foods you can cook at a much higher heat to see what this set can really do. They yield a lovely crispy outside and a fully cooked inside with less effort than other pans I've used in the past. Next up, let's talk steaks. My method involves the oven to finish them off, but that initial sear from the hexclad pan is fantastic. Here's a shot of the cross section at the end. Another staple in my house is fried rice, but I usually use a high walled pan. The hexclad wok is a ton of fun to use and much better suited to the process. Next, let's take a look at the burgers. I was pleased with the evenness of the interior while still getting a good sear on the outside. Burgers were super easy to do. When it comes to pots, we've cooked stews, curries, rice, and corn. They all have three great features that impress us every time. First, they boil water incredibly quickly. Second, the same pot can be used on the stovetop as well as in the oven without compromising either process. Third, the handles resist heat exactly as hexclad claims. No matter how long a pot has been on the stovetop, it's safe to pick up without mitts or gloves. However, that does not apply after the pan or pot has been in the oven, so be sure to use your mitts when you get it out of the oven. We've also tested the additional cookware from Hexclad, including the griddle, Dutch oven, and Hexmill salt and pepper grinders. We used the griddle to fry up some bacon, which came out great, though it was a bit of a mess with the grease. Next time, I think I'd use the high wall pan or the traditional frying pan instead. The Dutch oven was surprisingly fun inclusion from Hexclad. 
It has us experimenting with some old-fashioned recipes like this peach cobbler. It was easy and fun to make, but at the end of the day, it's also a solid five-quart pot. Finally, these grinders are unquestionably the biggest luxury in our kitchen. They're weighty, sleek, and provide the smoothest grind I've ever seen. They also have 10 different coarseness options, which lets you zero in on the perfect granule size for any meal. Now, let's talk about some specific tests to perform. Starting with the eggs. No cookware review will be complete without testing this essential food. First, we looked at scrambled eggs. Sorry, Gordon, we would fail your scrambled egg test. And that's how a master chef perfects scrambled eggs. Woo! We simply wanted to examine the cooking speed and interaction of the egg on the pan. As you can see, with medium heat, it cooks fast. The egg is moved around cleanly with little effort. This is a great result for any pan. Next, we cook the eggs over medium. After seasoning with roughly half a tablespoon of oil, we add the egg to cook for a minute or so. Again, the trick with hex that is to not overheat the pan. When I like the look of the color and edges, I prod at the sides to see how well the egg will slide. With very little effort, it moves around the pan with a satisfying ease. Finally, the omelet test was to examine the evenness of the heat distribution. A sign of bad heat distribution on an omelet is when the middle cooks more than the edges, as seen from the color. From our test, we saw a uniform look throughout the bottom. Overall, this was an excellent showing from Hexclad. For the pots, we wanted to test the speed at which water will boil. Heating quickly is one of the big selling points of this cookware. So whether you're cooking pasta, hard boiling eggs, or steaming foods over pots, this is an important feature. We started with the eight quart pot as you would for making pasta, or in this case, boiling corn. We used four quarts of water. Our timer showed that it took just over five minutes to reach a boiling point on high heat and covered with its lid. That's a great time, but how does it compare to other cookware? Our next test is a side-by-side -side comparison with a pot from a different high-quality brand. As you can see, we used the smaller two-quart pots as they would fit better on the two burners of equal size on our cooktop. It was somewhat close, but the hex-clad pot achieved a solid rolling boil roughly 30 seconds before the other brand. When it comes to washing hex-clad pans, it's a breeze compared to other cookware. Our previous sets of ceramic and Teflon were difficult to say the least and we couldn't be as aggressive scrubbing as we wanted to in order to protect the non-stick coating and look at the pans. Hexled pans are able to use abrasive scrubbers and harsher cleaners like Barkeeper's Friend. With the griddle, I consistently ended up with bacon grease cooked on the bottom. Removing those stains was easy and there's little to show from my repeated mistakes. In terms of cleaning, this is the easiest set of cookware I've ever used. They do recommend avoiding anything sharp, as they could scratch the finish with enough force. As far as seasoning and setup goes, it's pretty simple. Their website instructs to heat the pan on low to medium heat. We use just under medium. Once hot, spread one teaspoon of oil over the pan for two to four minutes. If done well and washing isn't too aggressive, you won't need to season every time. I'd recommend Hexlad Cookware to anyone looking for pans with exceptional performance with a modern cooking convenience. They combine the durability of stainless steel while achieving a non-stick surface. I also love that they can use metal utensils and I don't have to worry as much about scratching the surface or ruining the non-stick coating. And you can scrub with the most abrasive cleaning tools like steel wool and you're only a two minute seasoning away from a fantastic non-stick coating. Each piece is easy to clean and safe to use in the dishwasher. Even the lids are oven safe for up to 500 degrees. Overall, I'm extremely satisfied with Hexclad and I will definitely continue to use them for my daily cooking. Once you zero in on the correct heat setting to use with your stove, you'll see how consistent and easy cooking can be. Well guys, that's it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. Comments, questions, please drop us those notes down below. If you're interested in buying the Hexclad, we've got links in the description. For more from Modern Castle, be sure to get subscribed, ring that bell, and visit us over at moderncastle.com. As always, thank you. So much for watching.